Hello Model Rail Orders, I'm Dave. Uh, before I got into modeling, or back into modeling uh, model railroads, uh, which I had done in my uh, pre-teens and through, through my teens, and then of course, like everything else, you stop when you go to college and get your first job and things of that nature. At least a lot of people I've uh, talked to, that's what has occurred. But uh, in that intervening time, I got into uh, collecting minerals. And just before I start packing everything up, I thought I would uh, kind of do an inventory of uh, the three uh, mineral cabinets that I've got out. And, uh, you know, just kind of record uh, what I've got before I pack everything up. It will give me a, an idea of how I had it laid out. Uh, when I go to unpack it in our new home. So uh, let's get started. So in this cabinet, uh, this is a piece of uh, calcite uh, from uh, Paris, Ontario, Canada. And it is fluorescent as well. And uh, this is some dolomite. And I believe that is from the uh, Quebec area somewhere in Quebec so uh, getting in here this is kind of my second string cabinet and uh, hopefully things will light up uh, appropriately um, but uh, that little uh, piece there that's actually uh, platinum from some lab equipment and then a fossil uh, that's been turned into an egg, a bit of an amethyst uh, point, uh, a geode, some uh, various uh, slab material, another uh, uh, cut geode, and uh, uh, I'm blanking on the name of the piece beside it, uh, some uh, calcite with an apatite crystal there, uh, another cut geode in a slab, and uh, another bit of uh, calcite with an ornamental uh, bear on it. So moving down to the next row. Uh, this is uh, interesting to me, uh, more that it's a uh, conglomerate, uh, that uh, it's naturally kind of cemented together. Uh, so I thought that was kind of, uh, kind of cool, and then some uh, sodalite beside it some uh, other uh, agate slabs and uh, I believe that's a slab of petrified wood and uh, something from the Athabasca Glacier. I think there's enough light I don't need to use my second one. Some rhodochrosite, some lace agate, uh, some apatite, uh, tourmaline, and I think it's in calcite, and a big chunk of coral, uh, petrified wood, some more petrified wood, some ironstone, uh, and I think that piece is uh, fluorite on calcite from the Dundas, Ontario area from way back then. It was the Steetley Quarry, now I believe Lafarge owns that quarry. And then kind of moving down here, uh, I can't remember what's on the back there, but then we've got some amethyst, um, some tiger iron, I believe, uh, fluorite, uh, again from the Dundas area, from, from memory serves, uh, some garnet, those are the little red spots on garnet and mic. I think mica, or I'm forgetting the uh, the name. Some uh, little sample of asbestos from Timmins. Uh, this is kind of a, a mix of stuff uh, that didn't get uh, put out. Some uh, uh, gypsum crystals and uh, things of that nature, and. Uh, then some different stuff. Uh, barrel, I believe that is the uh, back left. Some mica on uh, quartz. Uh, a fossil. Some horn, horn blend, I believe it is. Um, I 
I can't remember what the two at the front are. Down the back, that's uh, some mica. That's a, a slab. I think that's uh, kind of like the conglomerate. That's uh, calcite from the uh, Dundas quarry. Um, I think that's some um, uh, possibly blue lace agate. I'm not 100% sure without uh, looking at it. Uh, some amazonite. Uh, this is uh, amethyst from uh, the Thunder Bay area, I believe. And just uh, that could be a piece of labradorite at the back there. Uh, some mica. Uh, that's a big uh, blue celestite or celestine. I um, can't remember which is the proper pronunciation. And I can't remember exactly what the, uh, the black is. Uh, that uh, reddish colored uh, rock is just a souvenir from uh, from somewhere that uh, my parents had visited. Uh, I can't remember what it may be. But uh, that's kind of my third string cabinet, if you will. Uh, here's a large piece of uh, dog's tooth calcite. And I ended up, uh, that is from the Dundas Quarry. That was my first uh, trip, actually, as part of the rock club I belong to. And we had a walk in about uh, a mile. The vehicles were not allowed in the quarry. And uh, I carried that out with a backpack with about 40 pounds of uh, minerals in, in the backpack and that in my arms. And I had... Uh, little indentations from uh, the uh, the outer ridge of the calcite uh, you know it was kind of my fingers were locked together and it was in the the V that my arm arm made and uh, those indentations lasted for about a good hour but uh, I can't remember how heavy it is uh, probably about uh, 20 25 pounds I'm guessing but uh, that's uh, definitely <laughs> uh, got, got a story behind it. Uh, this is a piece of uh, quartz from uh, Brazil. Uh, Minas, Minas Gerais uh, province, I believe. Uh, those are just some uh, eggs and naturally kind of egg-shaped uh, things. I've already started wrapping them up just to, to keep them... Uh, together but uh, we'll head down into the shelf now so uh, you know I'm sorry the some of it's going to be uh, I'm gonna have to light it with a flashlight so hopefully it will turn out uh, better but uh, some uh, amethyst at the front and uh, a lot of stuff in here will be uh, quartz um, of varying forms like uh, this one right here has got inclusions in it. Uh, the one dealer that I was uh, friends with, uh, he always picked up odd shaped uh, crystals and uh, stuff with inclusions. So uh, I always liked uh, getting it because it was available to me. So uh, I'll just kind of give a pan over. Uh, fluorite uh, right here. Then we're getting into more uh, common quartz crystals, um, turquoise, uh, more uh, quartz. I can't remember what that one, the white one is off the top of my head. Uh, but uh, there's quartz with uh, rutil, rutilated quartz and uh, some calcite and there's more rutilated quartz and then more appropriately shaped quartz, some uh, gypsum in its more uh, bulk form and then all the different uh, gypsums in their uh, other different shapes there. And then uh, moving down uh, just other different uh, ones, uh, more dog's tooth calcite and uh, celestite from the uh, Dundas quarry and then getting into different 
quartz, uh, uh, calcite at the back, um, fluorite there uh, at the back, um, Apache tears, I believe the uh, the roundish or egg-shaped black ones are. They're uh, volcanic uh, in origin, volcanic glass essentially. Uh, some more apatite in uh, calcite, and then uh, included quartz. And there's another nice nice shot of uh, with uh, some rutil rutilated quartz, the nice sp iron spike in it, and then uh, other different. Uh, Quartz and uh, amethyst with and without inclusions. Um, this one here is kind of neat. It's got a, a couple of phantom crystals uh, in it, and uh, you know other different. Uh, uh, it's a slab of uh, silver ore and uh, garnet on the drop side there, and uh, hematite on quartz. Um, that's another quartz there. Uh, that's uh, calcite. Getting into the bottom, and uh, we'll start over here. Uh, what's in that box is gravel from Franklin, New, New York, and that is very fluorescent in short wave. And then, uh, and I believe most of these uh, right here are all fluorescent, and I'll have to. Uh, try and do just a, a little video of that. Uh, the uh, bluish one there is uh, sapphire and ruby, uh, fluorite, a uh, bunch of different uh, calcites, um, some more uh, other minerals. That's a big chunk of the Franklinite uh, there. Uh, geo that will fluoresce both long wave, short wave, kind of neat. Like some of this stuff looks very blah, but when you hit it with uh, fluorescent light, it really, uh, really pops. So I'll have to uh, dig my lamp out and uh, and do a quick uh, video of just of the fluorescent minerals. And that's predominantly what's all all on this lower shelf is all uh, fluorescence. Now. In this bag, I'm not going to dig everything out, but a friend uh, that uh, I used to work with that uh, went to uh, back home to India, he had a uh, jeweler friend, and I got some offcuts of things. So, uh, you know, some yellow sapphire and some bits of diamond and stuff like that. So that was a uh, an opportunity to get something I wouldn't normally have access to. And uh, then in this one, we've got uh, different uh, meteorites uh, samples. Uh, so that was uh, another uh, access uh, kind of thing. There was only one show that I went to where someone had uh, the meteorites. So uh, got some of those at the time. Now these are just certificates for the uh, diamonds and stuff, but uh, yeah, all pretty much everything on this lower shelf is all uh, fluorescent, like some uh, where it's the, the calcite there is uh, very nice visually. Same with uh, with this piece here. It is very enjoyable to look at on its own. And same with the, uh, the fluorites, but as soon as you uh, start hitting with the ultraviolet they really really pop so uh, I'll end uh, this video here because that, these are the two cabinets and I'll see about uh, digging out my fluorescent and do another video just on the uh, fluorescent minerals uh, that are in the cabinet here so uh, till the next video I'm Dave bye for now